so for today's video I thought we could do a pack with me because I'm going to Greece tomorrow and I've got so much stuff and I'm only allowed 10 kilograms of luggage. I'm sure a lot of you guys um, will also have this struggle at some point. 10 kilograms is not a lot and I love my clothes. So I've got a coffee, I've got everything I need. Let's get into it. I also have a lot of clothes because I'm going away three times this summer. This is the only one where I get to take a suitcase. The other two times I can take like those little Ryanair hand luggage bags. So if I don't take everything, then that's a good thing I suppose, so that I've got stuff to take when I go away next time. I'm gonna do a pack with me for them as well. Where's me packing cubes? I've also invested in some packing cubes because I've seen online that they're meant to be like really good. So this is the first thing. Um, actually gorgeous i have no words i also have this but they are like exactly the same so i don't think i'm going to take that so i've just emptied all my packing cubes out and now i just need to decide what i'm going to take and what i'm not going to take out of all the clothes so i'm going to speed this up because this could take a little while <laughs> and I'm going to show you what I've got in here so far so I don't know why I've just packed this to unpack it but I did a little panic order on PLT, ASOS, I went to Meta Hall. if you watch my weekly vlog you'll see the panic unfold but um, I did a little bit of panic shopping and I bought this little dress from PLT it's like a green bandage bandeau and then this was also a panic shop purchase. It's just this little ribbed cream mini dress from H&M. Is it kids? What's the divided section? Is it just H&M divided? It is actually like their teen section, but I'm not complaining. It's good. And then I got this police, is it police or police dress? Another panic buy. It's a line, so it hangs off you. And this material is just really nice. I feel like it's very flippy. It'll be nice when it's warm. Um, ah. So I got this dress from PLT. It's the softest material ever and when I tell you it sucks you in, it literally gives you such an hourglass figure. Next I've got this Opoly mini dress. This was pre-planned, this wasn't part of the panic buying. Um, it's ribbed, white, I just love it. I think it's so cute. I got this on Vinted for like £10, absolute steal. And then I got this dress from PLT. It's, <laughs> this is the top and then this is the bottom and they like go together like this. Towel knitted sort of material. It's absolutely gorgeous, I absolutely love it. Next, it's like Skims dupe dress from Bershka. It's a maxi dress, it's got a low back. This is from Sheen um, and it's got this like triangular top to it and then it's got this really long maxi skirt it's completely backless the colors aren't very me and they don't really go with this holiday but the dress was so nice that i just thought why not we're coming to the end of the dresses actually thank god we've got so many this crocheted mini dress with long sleeves and then it's completely backless to wear going down to the pool or to the beach okay so that is all the dresses but i reckon we can fit more in it definitely we can fit more in it Next we've got this really long maxi skirt crocheted from Boohoo. Okay next is this little crocheted skirt. It's got these little strings that cinch you in at the waist and also tie on your hips to make it look a little bit more flattering and I think like, over a bikini this will look really cute. And I've then got another set. So this is a skirt that goes with a cord. It's from Opoly. It's this low rise maxi skirt with a slit. It's in this beautiful sage green colour and it comes with a sage green corset. Again, I'll show you that in a sec. This is the problem. I want to take everything. I knew this would be an issue though. It was so annoying. Okay, this is gorgeous as well. Oh, this is such an issue. This is a low rise 
I'm going to be saying the mid axi crocheted skirt. It's not that sheer that you can see your full on bum, but it's sort of, I don't know if I'd want to venture into the town in it. But you can still see your bikini, bikini? <laughs> you can still see your bikini bottoms. This is from Mistress Rock. It's got these really pretty little flower detailing on it. Um, and it comes with a matching corset. So I'm going to try and bring that as well because I want to get a pick actually. On to the next. Tops wise, I've got this white. It's like a corset, um, but it's more of a relaxed corset. It's a daytime corset. Laces up at the front, but you can also just lace up the boob area and have the little bottom bits flapping around. I'm then going to wear this blue checkered shirt to the airport because it's too big um, to put in my case. I've then got this white shirt with like short sleeves. I absolutely love this. This is definitely coming with me. This little bandeau knitted cream top. I feel like every single thing I've packed is either white cream or pastel. This is another little white crop top. Um, it's got these cups and laces up at the back. Really cute. Just thought nice to throw on for the daytime. That was from H&M Kids again, or H&M Div Divided, or whatever it is. This is the corset from Mistress Rocks with the little flowers on it that goes with that skirt. So I'm gonna roll that up, that like that. Um, this is from PLT, it's just a t-shirt and it ties at the front. Um, and then this is the top for the green skirt. This is so flattering on, it also laces up the back. And I'm just gonna bring this little blue floral vest top from Cotton On. And then I might move on to shorts and put them in the tops one. So I've got these pair of mum shorts. I like quite a nice length, but a bit oversized as well. Um, and they're from PLT. They were like four pound in the sale. And then next, this is part of a set. This is from Sheen. Um, they're these flippy white shorts. Um, just feel like I'm gonna wear these loads. Zip this up. Stuff that like in. So that's tops and shorts, dresses and skirts. And then this is the bikinis. <laughs> this bag's perfect because it literally just squishes them all in. I've got a pink string bikini with matching bottom. Really pretty, it's like a bandeau patchwork and it's got these little bottoms as well next is this bandeau white bikini a really nice shape um they're very flattering on the bod next is this like tiger print i want to say um triangle bikini matching bottoms this little daisy sarong um, and that ties that's also from sheen and this brown sarong to go with any bikinis that are a bit darker then i've got this bikini top this is from plt it's like slightly push up um this is really nice i bought this the other day then i got a plain black triangle bikini come with matching bottoms as well and then this nude bikini with gold detailing on i think it's so pretty so there are all the bikinis in this bag, I also put my Jacumus hat, which is actually from Sarah Mark. That's also going in. Push it down. There it is. That's all the clothes aspect of it all. I did put this before at the bottom, but I can try and fit it in like this. I mean, it might be fine, but I've just got some jewellery in this bag. Put these sunglasses in my jewellery bag because... They are quite delicate. <laughs> um, then I've got this little um, shell necklace that I got in Maga. Some gold, like, large hoop earrings. I then have this, like, black Van Cleef dupe necklace. This is from Sarama as well. Then I also have this little gold bangle that Josh got me for Christmas. Then I got this belly chain. I think this is from ASOS. This gold chunky necklace. This is also from ASOS. And then my Dior ring. This is actually real, believe it or not. And then I've got some smaller gold hoops that I thought I could wear like in the sea because they literally do not come off. I've also got some more gold hoops. I don't know. Am I right? And then I've got a little seashell anklet as well. That's all my jewellery. Chuck all that in there. Um, and I'm going to stick these 
in here. And here I've just got my next week of retainers. I've got some cotton pads, some portable, those adapter things. I've got my selfie light, bamboo toothbrush, fake Prada sunnies, floss, a plaster, two bubbles, a pair of sunnies from PLT, a comb, this thing that goes with my retainers, um, some nipple covers, and a charger for my selfie light. Everything in, and then shove that in as well. And then I've just got my makeup. So in my makeup bag, I've got my Laura Mercier powder. Then I've got a beauty blender, which I need to clean. I've got some collection pressed powder, a powder puff, which I also need to clean. And I've got my brushes, which is mainly real technique. Um, but these are my brushes. And got a sharpener, a Too Faced bronzer because my mac one ran out i've got my pink honey face frosting in toffee truffle that is unreal what is that that's cream bronzer i've got mascara in case my lashes come out i've got a brown eyeliner this nyx brow pencil in chocolate that's amazing i've got a red lip liner in case you want to have pink lips one night i've then got a little black eyeliner and a nude liner from mac for my lips i've got another lip liner from collection another mac lip liner pair of tweezers um a lash glue and a powder blush from collection Let's stick all that back in there i've then got my liquids and in that i've got a simple cleanser walida skin food moisturizer this is unreal um i've got a perfume this is from next i want to say it's actually really nice then got beautiful skin foundation from charlotte tilbury this is in the shade eight it's really nice then got the nyx Ugh. i bought this the other day but it's got sticky all over it so things keep sticking to it i've got the nyx butter gloss in cairo no fortune cookie the maybelline fit me concealer in shade 20 got the beauty bay glow filter which is like the charlotte tilbury um what's the glowy thing called I can't remember, but yeah, that thing, in BB103. And then I've got a little mini toothpaste. This is the body tan from Bondi Sands, which is like instant. That's really nice. I've got a little brow gel, a clear brow gel. The other one was tinted. And then a razor. And again, all the air out. I'm going to stick that on there, there like that. I'm going to stick my makeup in the top. Then I've got my hairbrush. That's going to go in here. There we go. Last but not least, I've got this book. Um, I have no idea if it's good or not. I've got this YSL dupe bag from, you guessed it, Sarah Marit. Um, and then this little cute hair clip. I've got this in three colours, actually. And then, if all goes well... Bloody hell. This will close. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what I'm taking shoes wise. So I'm wearing these to the airport because these will not fit in my case. I'm going to put these in my case. I just forgot to show them. They're just these little sliders and that's all I'm taking shoes wise. Literally just on the top like that. <laughs> yeah, so there it is. So yeah, that is the suitcase all packed. So we're all done. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you very soon for a holiday vlog. Bye guys.